want to save the world. I want them to teach me how. Why is it important to, to leave the confines of University Park campus and take a trip to the Catalina campus? If we really want to understand our environment, we have to, to get out there and see the environment. We have to appreciate what the issues are. And when you're thinking and studying about the environment, how magnificent that we have a Catalina campus in one of the most pristine environments just offshore here from Los Angeles. I like standing outside the ship on the deck and like watching this go away from the ports because you get entire perspective of the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, which are the largest ports in the United States, and I think there's six in the world right now. When you leave the harbor, and just leaving LA Harbor is interesting in and of itself. And then you get into the channel, cross the lighthouse, and you get into the channel, and more often than not, um, you'll be greeted by dolphins. Um, during the whale migration, we'll have humpback whales. We've seen blue whales, killer whales, minke whales. Um, and we always stop because that's, that's part of the Catalina experience is the trip getting there too. Again, kind of a, a, a zen thing, the journey being as important as your destination. And then as you arrive, you can't believe that it's the same body of water. You can look down, you can see the bottom. You see kelp bass that are, you know, two feet. It's just, uh, it's spectacular. We're very fortunate to have this facility here, you know, right in one of the undeveloped parts of the island, right by a marine reserve, which is right here in front of us. And then, of course, all of this, some 80% of the island, is a land reserve. The Wrigley Institute of Environmental Studies was set up years ago to have a campus of USC on Catalina Island. The mission is to educate college students who are interested in the environment from a broad-based perspective. Liquid fuels is part of the energy picture, but if you had electric cars and you had something other than coal, you know, whether it's nuclear. Having one professor, Professor Manahan, who teaches both on Wrigley and at USC. Scientists called it the genomic toolkit. And the is nice because it really gives you a connection when it's not like Wrigley's a whole new thing. Well, I'm a business major and when I transferred to USC I have to take like the general education and I chose to take environmental issues in society. I wouldn't have really thought about it as a minor. I've always been interested in it and I didn't think about the correlation it would have had with business, the advantages of having that sort of educational background. I'm very glad that I took the course because it's putting me on a completely different path and I think that it's going to be much more beneficial to uh, when I graduate. In the morning we were in the classroom discussing environmental themes like food and energy and the future of those and then in the afternoon we really wanted to get the students out in the environment. At the Wrigley Institute we have snorkeling gear and wetsuits and so they're all for free so any student can use them anytime they want so lots of students went snorkeling. <laughs> it was my first time snorkeling it was really really fun. I wore a wetsuit for the first time and saw some pretty corals and Fish. You can learn about anything from a textbook, but with environmental studies specifically, it's so present in our everyday life that knowing it's there and like really seeing it like in your everyday life is important because it will have more of an impact on the person who's studying the subject. The hiking is fantastic. You get a chance to explore and have class outside of a classroom setting. We went up to the top of the cliffs and we saw this great view of the harbors kind of an interesting way to study and apply the principles that we learn in lecture. They have a lot of different programs where you can actually go there for the summer or for a few months during the semester and spend a lot of time. Being at the USC Wrigley Marine Science Center um, is a lot like being at main campus. The dorms have recently been redone and they're very comfortable. Several of them have ocean views which is very nice. And then we have a dining hall and so really most of your needs are pretty much taken care of right there at the lab. There's no reason to go far. I feel very strongly as director of the Wrigley Institute that all students, no matter what their major is, should have an understanding of what these environmental debates are about. There are very few issues and very few careers in the future that aren't going to in some way have an environmental impact. I feel like environmental studies is the major to be right now. It's, it's really crucial and pressing. It's in the media all the time. And I feel like USC and Los Angeles is a great place to come and study because one of my friends said it best that if you're studying war you don't go to Geneva, Switzerland, you you know go to Iraq. So it's sort of the same idea you come to Los Angeles that has all these major environmental issues and uh, it's a great place to come and really see them firsthand and try to tackle them as best you can. <laughs>